Hey guys, welcome back and today I'm gonna share with you how to get views with TubeBuddy and this is gonna be a full guide. So it's gonna be a slightly longer video. I made TubeBuddy videos in the past before, but never one like this. And in this one, I'm gonna show you how to use TubeBuddy's full potential to grow. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly jump to the shadows. The notification shadow goes to Far Cry 5 Attackers Games. Congrats on being first on yesterday's video and shout out to you. And the everyday fan shout out goes to BlueXYT. Thank you so much for being in the comments down below all the time and shout out to you. And for those of you who don't know about TubeBuddy, it's a YouTube certified extension tool that helps you to organize your videos or manage your videos. But even more importantly, it helps you to get views because it helps with metadata so people can discover your videos on YouTube. And also, you can download it completely free using the link in the description down below. So pause the video, install TubeBuddy, and after, we follow along. And also, this is an affiliate link, which means if you decide to upgrade later, I get a referral fee. I'm assuming you already installed TubeBuddy by now, so I'm gonna jump to the computer and show you how it works. Additionally, I'm gonna put some timestamps below on the video, so if you wanna rewatch one part or just skip to a part, then you can do that. And I used TubeBuddy for a long time, that's how I get views, whether it's 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, or even 100,000 views on some videos. So I know that TubeBuddy is really effective too, and I use it on all of my videos, or at least a majority of them. So of course you go to YouTube, and then a few icons to the left of your YouTube icon is going to show like a TB logo. So that is TubeBuddy and I'm running this on Google Chrome. You click that and then there's pretty much your tool set. Now in the free version, there's going to be some things that maybe you don't have. But now we're going to start with the tools that every license has. So basically over here you see, you see Keyword Explorer and on the bottom it says Launch Keyword Explorer. So you click that. And that's gonna basically help you to find a good potential title, which is the first most important step. All right, so the way I do it, I put a full title first, but you can do one single word too. So for example, we're gonna type Fortnite. And right here on the top, you have automatic suggestions. For example, let's click the first one. And in this case, this is not a good keyword phrase. But then on the right, you have other keyword phrases which you can use. Let's try another one. You see, a little bit better. Now let's try another one. And then there you go. You see just a few more words in the key phrase and it's making the score way higher. So you basically want to land in anywhere between the green colors. So what it's basically telling us is there's a lot of search volume for this particular key phrase. The competition is medium, which means there's still a lot of competition. And the optimization strength is high as well, which is very important because that means your title is well optimized. So that means it's good for YouTube algorithm. Then you have other common video tags on the bottom. Keep in mind in the free version, it's only gonna have three of them. And then when you click results, it's gonna show you similar key phrases that have the same title. All right, so the closest video is the third one and has 7.35 million views. So if somebody searched up this title, it'll probably be number one. And a lot of them are related and similar titles, you see. And this is an unweighted score, and unweighted means an outside audience, people that are not, not subscribed to your channel. And most likely, they never visited your channel. Now when you click the weighted score, and the weighted score is for whoever is subscribed to your channel, and the reason this score is very low for my channel, and because, as you know, I mostly do tutorials. So this makes sense, if I made Fortnite videos more than tutorials, then the score would be higher. Of course, you can change the keyword phrase manually as well. We're gonna type a different Fortnite title. Now let's see this one. So you see it improved in the weighted score, and then the unweighted score, it is high again. Because this is a good title, because not too many people get as much kills in Fortnite. And obviously try as many times as possible to get the best key phrase. So this is how I find key phrases, aka titles for all my videos. And to make this even more effective, research the title slash key phrase before you even make your video. So basically you want to match what you're saying in the beginning of the video to the good title you've researched. That's gonna boost your SEO and help you get ranked in YouTube search engine. And here's a perfect example. Recently I made a video with the iPhone 12 Pro case. Now when I go to search positions, if somebody searched this specific key phrase, I would be in the first position. Same with this other title. And still with the shorter title, I'll still be in second position. Yes, this video didn't get a ton of views yet, 
but it's more than I usually get, 780 to 1.1k. Speaking about this video, as you can see, I put a pretty long description. And also, I put some ranking tags, which I'm going to uh, talk about in a second. Then you can go to SEO Studio. So now I'm going to fill up all the information to see how we can optimize the SEO for this video. For example, I'm going to type Brawlhalla. I'm going to click Start now. So as you can see, this by itself, Brawlhalla is giving us a 36% for SEO score. Which is not that great, but at least it's something. Now let's keep typing and wait a few seconds. There you go. And now the score went to 60%. Now what I normally do, I take this entire key phrase, then I copy it, and we're gonna copy it to the description. Let's see what happens. Obviously on the top. And there you go, it boosted to 81%. And don't worry about these extra four lines, that's because I gave two people shoutouts. So that is why they are there. And now we're just gonna try to fill up the description some more. And then you have to write it in a very natural language. You see, I just wrote one line and it already increased to 90%. And you're, normally you would make the description longer over here. But it already shows that it's a good score. And as you can see, everything is a green check mark. So that means this is an optimized description already. Now you click next. And over here, it tells you to add tags. In the first one, it says include your exact target as a keyword. So you click add now. There you go. It went up to 95%. And then keep adding the tags. Obviously, they have to be related to your video. Now it went to 99% already. Then it says include more relevant tags. I can't find the proper tag, but usually you would want to make all these green check marks. And then when you do, you don't have to find all of them, but try your best, but you click next. Then click next again. So if you're not finished, you can click no, I'm not finished and save it as a draft. Or better yet, you can apply it to your video. And that's gonna apply everything you just did to your video. Then you can click close SEO. And then of course, don't forget this step, save it. Because if you don't click save, everything's gonna disappear. Now when I click the video on YouTube, look at the SEO score. So this is important in search results. There's a little bit more to it. I'm gonna explain it in, in a second. And it's really important to have an outstanding thumbnail to attract all the attention right away. So even if your video was first in search results, if nobody's clicking your video, then it will go all the way down. That's why it's really important to have a good thumbnail so people can start clicking on your video. And the more people click your video, the more chance you have of catching some wave. Another a cool tool and important tool is this checklist here. And then over here it says show completed. So it's going to show you a 10 additional checklist points and how much you did. So basically all I have to do is add chapters, add to a playlist and add more tags. So you don't have to do everything on the checklist, but this is just to give you an idea of, of what you're missing. Obviously what I showed you was on computer, but you can still do it on mobile. The thing is, if you have the free license, you can only use the free version in the computer. But on mobile, you'll have to pay a monthly subscription. This way, if you have a computer, it's better to upgrade to the pro version. And it's only going to cost a little bit more money. That way you get a bunch of more tools and the SEO studio I just showed you right now. And you also get the mobile app completely free. But if you can only do the mobile app, that's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that right now. So of course, open the TubeBuddy app. And same thing, you have to be logged in with your YouTube channel. For starters, we're gonna do the keyword research for the title. So click menu, then click the tag explorer, and basically type the keyword phrase on top. I'm gonna use a similar example so we know what's going on. And as you can see, it gave us 51 points. That's the same as 51%. The search volume is low. That means not too many people look for this title. The competition is average and the score is okay. It's in the middle. But now you have these other suggested key phrases. Let's just click the three dots on the side of one of them. Then you click explore this tag. And now it's making the score for this particular tag. Now I put another title face cam like a pro on mobile and the score went up. And as you can see, the competition is very low and the search volume is low too. 
This is how you do the key phrase search for the title. Now we come back to videos. We're gonna click on one of my videos. Let's say this camera test on iPhone 12. And over here, it by the way, shows you the checklist. But now we click tags. And then it shows you all the ranking tags. And as you can see, there's not too many ranking tags because millions of people uploaded the iPhone 12 Pro video. But then you can click suggest. Then it shows you tags that you can put on your video. For example, let's mark two of them and then click copy tags. And then it gives you three options, clipboard, tag list, and video. Basically, you want to put it to your video. And there you go. It says two tags copy to video. So this is how you do it on mobile. And of course, it gives you the milestones as well. So if you click any of them, it'll kind of give you like a certificate. So for example, you could say to your friends, Yo, I just got 24K. No, I'm, ki I'm just kidding. That's not the purpose of it. This is to show like your accomplishments. And then on the bottom of that, it shows your, your next milestones and how far you are away from them. So for example, I need 69,000 more views to get 2 million views, which is actually pretty cool. So about all the licenses, there's free, pro, uh, star, and then legend. I used a star license pretty much for three years. In the beginning, uh, you can get the free version, but if you get uh, used to it, then you can get the pro version. There's differences between the licenses, but the difference between the free version and the pro version is major. Because for number one, you get unlimited ranking tags, and you not only do you get uh, the unweighted score, but you get the weighted score too which is extremely important if you want to know how the titles rank for your specific channel. And obviously, another important tool is the SEO Studio tool, which is obviously crucial so you can optimize all your metadata, so that way your videos can rank in YouTube's algorithm. And additionally, you get the mobile app for free. And the best part about this, if you have less than a 1,000 subscribers, you can mark this, and the original cost is $9, but if you have less than a 1,000 subscribers, you can get a discount for 50% off. And then that's only $4.50 a month. And if you do it annually, it's even cheaper per month. And then, of course, there's a star license. You get a little bit more tools, but it immediately jumps to $20. And, of course, there is also important tools like the bulk edit. If you don't know what bulk edit is, if you want to edit one part of your description or you just want to put it to all of the videos. So, for example, you can say all the best Chris GTX videos and you can say make sure to subscribe. And then you can apply this to every single description of every video. There's still more tools in Star License, but then again, there's $20 every month. And then there's the most expensive license, which is the Legend license. It is $50 every month. Of course, you get tools like A and B testing. So basically, you can compare th thumbnail A and thumbnail B, and it shows you which one performed better. For, let's say, a week or two. It depends on how long you set up the test. So it's definitely a good tool. And then, of course, there's click magnet, so it's going to tell you what to improve so more people can click on your videos. Yes, you can use the free version to start, but if you're serious about growing your channel, then I suggest you upgrade to the pro version. You get a lot of tools for very low monthly payment. And in my opinion, that's the best value for the money that you spend. So if you want other tools, then you can get the star license. And in the legend license, you get more tools, but then again, it's $50 every month. So I would not recommend, especially in the beginning, but if you start making money on your channel and you want to upgrade, then yes, you can get the star or legend license on your channel. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about TubeBuddy, just ask in the comments down below, not in the chat right now. And I'll be glad to answer any questions if you're not sure about things. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!